She's a comedian, she's an actress, and every Tuesday she hosts the Zoom show, Stories for My Dog. It's Jen Cober. I'm getting a foot massage right now. Right now? Right While you now. Work. Yes. Massage. Should I even ask who's massaging your feet? A boy named Matt has come over. Okay, so you have, you have a boy to <laughs> he massage your feet. He a boy. Mad Mondays. Yes. Have you done a Mad Lib before? Yes, I have. I have written a story specifically for you. I have left out some parts of speech. You're gonna give me those parts of speech. Together, we're gonna to make a hilarious story. Got it. Are you ready to play? Yes. Okay, I need a part of the body. Tooth. An animal. Bear. A part of the body. Shoulder. I need a verb. Lunge. Yeah. <laughs> An adjective. Hairy. Animal. Frog. Adjective. Gray. U.S. city. Des Moines. A male name. Bolt. <laughs> How many bolts do you know? Just zero. I just okay. think it's a cool guy name. That's a great. That's a great male name. If I write Bolt. a soap opera, it will be Bolt. Uh, a noun. Book. Adjective. Loud. Verb ending in s. Craves. A liquid. Kool Aid. A food. Fried chicken. An adjective ending in EST. Modest. A flavor. Pistachio. Plural noun. Rings. An animal. Giraffe. A liquid. Apple juice. A part of the body. Neck. An expression. Come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Magical place. Xanadu. <laughs> Right? <laughs> there are no right or wrong answers. Matt, the foot masseuse, agrees it is the right answer. And we have a story. Southern Cooking. All right. By Jen Cober. I've lived in the South ever since I was tooth high to a bare shoulder, as we say back home. And nothing makes my mouth lunge like some hairy Southern cooking. <laughs> wow. One of my all time favorite recipes is fried frog. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Is that one of your favorite recipes? Wow, Probably. I'm learning so much about you. Fried frogs, okay. I can't believe you haven't had any fried frog. I've never had fried frog. I've had a bunch of weird stuff. I've had alligator. I've had, You've had armadillo. A lot, of, a lot of different testicles, but I've never had uh, <laughs> anything fried and dipped in ranch. There okay. is not enough. There is not, let me say this clearly. <laughs> there is not enough ranch in the fucking world for me to eat the balls of anything. Okay. The best I've ever had is at a great place outside Des Moines called Uncle Bolt's Book Shack. <laughs> it is so loud and the meat just craves off the bone. Wash it down with their famous sweet Kool-Aid and a piece of fried chicken pie. <laughs> fried chicken pie? Yeah, that's that. <laughs> That. The best way to taste the most modestest variety of flavors the South has to offer is at a church dinner. They have it all. Pistachio pudding, fried green rings, and barbecued giraffe covered in apple juice. Mmm. <laughs> uh, Every bite will have you smacking your neck, saying, come and get it. I think I've died and gone to Xanadu. <laughs> This is fantastic. We learned so much about Southern cooking. Fried from... chicken pie with a mashed potato meringue. We used the little peas like to decorate <laughs> it. Gravy at the top. Girl, we, we invented that here. You could really only get the best fried chicken pie at Uncle Bolt's Book Shack. In Des Moines. It's a great building. place. <laughs> right outside, right outside Des Moines. <laughs> Where can people see your Zoom show? Oh yeah, so I have a show happening May 19th on Tuesday. It's called Stories for My Dog. And if you want to get a ticket or register to check it out, it is all the info you need is at jencober.com. Wonderful, Jen, enjoy your foot rub. Thanks, man. Thank you so much for playing Mad Libs with me. I'm, I'm going to find fried chicken pie that can be delivered. <laughs>